Let's go. Oh, there now. Ah, oh. This is great. Sadie from the Abattoir says she loves the man with the tattoo. Oh. <laughs> this will really scramble her legs. <laughs> Make sure now that you get the spelling of the babe magnet right, won't you? Uh, that's it all done. Huh? Yeah. That is. Ah, great. <laughs> Do you know what? Yes. I think I might get something pierced next. Piercing, is it? <laughs> you go ahead and pierce the arse off yourself. But I'll tell you this. Huh? You'll undoubtedly end up dead. What are you scuttering on about? Ah, uh, don't tell me you haven't heard the story of Dick Dalton from Bob Nobber. He got his first tattoo in the mid-80s, a harmless one. I love Iron Maiden. Shite. I wish I'd thought of that one. From that day forth, he was hooked. And after five years under the needle, he had 90% of his body surface covered in tattoos of all shapes and forms. Uh, come here. Did he have any ones of buck naked wanton hussies with their pert nipples? And when he flexed his muscles, right. their massive cleavage. Right, right, right. calm down, you feckless <sighs> rogue. Anyway, Dick eventually took the only job he could get in town, with the, the state of him and all, yeah. in gusset meat produce. Oh, the dog food place. Yeah. <laughs> I've dropped off a few dead mongrels there myself. Now you're <laughs> different with that shotgun of yours. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right, they'd mince anything in that place. Hey, that's where all them mad CBS cows go and other disease-ridden livestock. Oh, yeah. Do you know what, though? I've heard they had the biggest mincing machine in Europe there. You're not wrong. And it was Dick Dalton's job to maintain the mincer to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And fair play to him, he struck at it and soon became head mincer. He even went and got himself hitched. <laughs> hitched? Oh, Jesus. She had fallen in love with a fellow with Jordans all over his flesh. Well, she was a like-minded soul, had a quite a few tattoos of her own, but oh. her main interest was in body piercing. Oh. She had both ears done, her yeah. nose, her lips, the, the back of her neck, her, yeah. her belly button, her lips, and in between her fingers, her, her cheeks, and in fact, anything that would take a ring or a stud. <laughs> Tell you what, sounds like one of them sadomachinists to me. Yeah, anyway, that may be, but uh, the two freaks loved each other and it was plain to see. It was coming up to the third anniversary and he headed up to Dublin uh, to buy a, a, a big ring to surprise her. Ah, that's nice, yeah. So he, he got the ring put through his eye. Well, would that, would that not, like, uh, affect his sight? Uh, no. It didn't affect his sight at all, Raj. Oh. I see. <clears throat> through his meat. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he never got to show it to her. Uh, as he was called back to the factory on his way home, the mincer was acting up. Uh, when he got there, the mincer had shut down altogether. He inspected the razor-sharp blades. Perhaps uh, it was just a bit of a power Rush. surge or something, you know. Uh, so he decided to turn the mighty machine back on again. As the twin 1,000 horsepower motors roared into action again, there was one thing Dick had overlooked. It was the speeding turbo motors, creating a massive magnetic pull. Before Dick could get the safety cover down, he was pulled head first, uh, so to speak, into the thrashing blades. Jeez, magnetic pull, his metal Mickey. If someone saw what had happened and hit the emergency stop button, the machine had minced Dick right up to his torso. Oh. He was still barely alive, but mangled too much to be saved. So they sent for his wife and a doctor. What happened then? Now yeah, the doctor said he was as good as dead. If they pulled him out, it would cause him untold pain and would kill him anyway. Don't pull me out, gasped Dick. It'll only feck up the motors. So he gave his wife a goodbye kiss and got her to start up the machine again. What a way to die. Being shredded alive, metal tear in the flesh, bones crushed and nothing in your eyes. Oh, from the sockets, teeth splintered, all to end up as a tin of bouncy chunks yeah. for a healthier dog. Yeah. Hey, I've just... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Yeah. What? I've just thought some poor dog's going to end up gagging on that poor fella's ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, come here. Right. Hand us over that mirror over there for a look at me mm, tattoo. Hold on there. <laughs> there you go. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny, Podge. <laughs> but you're the gobsheen. 
Huh? You spelt it backwards. Um, that's because you're looking in the mirror, Raj. Oh, yeah, but... Yeah. Oh, shite.